I was wondering if you would make a comment on Luke 4.16, and specifically it's the, and Mark 6.5, the teaching in Nazareth, the statement, and he could not do any mighty work there. I wondered how you work with the, uh, the aspect of faith and, and the actions of Messiah. Okay, this is a great question. Let's go to the text itself. And uh, there's what, actually... What? Mark, Luke what? Okay, he brings up the Luke passage, however, I'm going to circumvent that. And the reason why is because uh, ultimately he's talking about Mark 6, 5. There's parallels in, in, um, three, in all three of the synoptic gospels. Mark 6, 5, and he could do no mighty work there except that he laid his hands on a few sick people and healed them. In the Luke passage, it says, and he he did no great works there. But then in Matthew 13, 58 is when we really have the, the expounding of, of this passage. It says, and he did not do many mighty works there because of their unbelief. And so this is what the caller is actually getting at. He didn't leave his name, which is totally fine. He didn't leave his name, but... Uh, the, the question is, why couldn't he do any great works there? Was it because lack of faith made it so he w- didn't have the power to do so or not? And my answer to that, I will go first because this I've, I've studied this this morning and I already had an idea, but I wanted to make sure that I was in good company. Um, basically, I don't think it's that he was unable to do the works. In other words, it's not that he couldn't have healed people because they didn't have faith. I think rather it was that they didn't have faith, and so if he did those works, his works would have been attributed to Satan or to someone else. In other words, they didn't have faith, so him doing those works would have not been of the same result as places where they did have faith. Does that make sense? Do you have anything to add to that? Uh, I think, well, I think that's a good explanation. Um, I, I mean, what's okay. So he healed, he healed some sick people. Yeah. So it, to me, that's, say that, that is a miracle already. Of course. He, it says so, that he so does. We have he, to, yeah. Right. So we have to differentiate what is, there's a few things. A, one, that Yeshua only does the will of the father. Right. That's one thing we have to keep in mind. Another is that we have to understand what is this word uh, dunamis, which is translated miracle in like the NASB. And then the fact that he did heal some sick people, which to me is a miracle. Yeah, so, so the idea is, well, he's doing something that I would call a miracle by healing sick people. And on the other hand, he's never going to do anything that the father does not direct him to do. So then there's this middle bit of what is this certain, what are the the mighty things that are mighty thing that he is not able to do there? Right. Um, and, and, you know, we could speculate, you know, uh, I mean, right before it, he says a prophet is not with, without honor except in his hometown. Right. Um, so there's something about their... Um, yeah, their stubbornness of heart that it, that for some reason the father is saying is denying those people something that Yeshua was in Yeshua's power to do to bless them, but that blessing was withheld due to stubbornness of heart right. of some sort, at least for that time being. And it says he wondered at their unbelief. Right. So, Boy, I mean, I, the way I read that, Yeshua's going away, going, man. They know? wouldn't have believed the miracles anyway. Exactly. Why does Yeshua say, don't give, don't put pearls before swine? Right. Why does he say that? He's not talking about pigs right. or dogs. He's talking about people. <laughs> yeah. And nice. and there's something here where, by, by the leading of the, the Holy Spirit, it was, the line was drawn. Exactly. And Yeshua is obedient. So that's the way I read it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Tell us your thoughts on this subject by leaving a comment in the comment section. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and enable those notifications. And we'll see you in the next video.